guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Heart of Amethyst. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertaining you. Let's jump right in. Alarm channel, you're up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> if I listen to her taunts now, I'll lose focus. I need to think my strategy properly. He's a trained soldier, and you started with your training? Like what, three weeks ago? She's trying to rile me up, but I won't let her. Queen saved. Now that my queen is back in the castle, my soldiers will get a strength boost. All there's left to do is kill her king and shut her up for good. I use the rest of my turn wisely and begin my advance on her territory. I can already imagine how disappointed my grandpa will be once he sees you fail. Um, what? Let's do that again. Wait, let's do that again. What? Oh. Princess! Both me and the princess jump as Ruby raises her voice. The maid is looking at Dolly with a severe expression on her face. Measure were your words. You're being impolite with her. You with your guest. Dolly looks back at me with her cheeks fully flustered, but not a single word comes out of her mouth. I can't help but smirk back at her. And when she sees me smiling, the girl looks down and angrily crosses her arms, acting as if her mom just scolded her. Sometimes it's really hard to believe that she is older than me. Either way, I just want to be done with this and go relax in my room. So I use the next two turns to destroy her troops with ranged attacks. Then I eventually break her castle's door and I conquer her kingdom. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> it was a little hard to pull off if she had some really lucky rolls. But it all worked out, out at the end. To finish the game, I ask for permission to leave. The girl says nothing as she just stares at the window with an annoyed expression on her face. Looks like being scolded by the maid didn't sit well with her. A rare sight to see. I'll make sure to store it properly in my memories. I didn't mean it, you know. I've seen you train, and maybe you do have a chance. And here's an even rarer spectacle. Princess being nice to me? Scandalous. I can count the times she's been nice to me with the fingers in one of my paws. So this is a surprise. I bow again and offer her one last smile before turning around. Time to go. Aw, she likes him. Stepping outside of the princess's room, I decide to take a quick walk around the backyard. I find it relaxing to be here at night, as there are many things that I enjoy. The cold breeze from the lake, for example, which makes my fur stand up and my body shiver. The night sky is bright and beautiful as always, with hundreds of stars shining above. Man, I could just drop on the ground and fall asleep on the spot with the beautiful sound of the waves as my lullaby. Still, I should drop that idea. I know the cons of sleeping on the ground very well. Besides, my very, uh, my very, comfortable, besides, my very comfortable bed is waiting for me. I can't help but admire this amazing scenario. Being away from the city has its perks. You get to enjoy quiet places like these. Taking a few steps towards the shore, the training area comes to view. I'm not gonna lie, seeing it fills my heart with dread. I'll be fine, there's nothing to worry about, Roderick said. He's a trained soldier and you started with your training? Like what, three weeks ago? I shake my head harshly, as if that would make the thought go away faster. For now, I should just try to sleep as much as I can. No use worrying about tomorrow. But that am... With that in my with that in my mind, I stop on my tracks and turn around. No more wandering around. My bed is waiting. But even as I try to fall asleep, I find it difficult to do so. I've been moving around in bed for hours, but my brain won't let me rest. I've tried everything to get myself sleepy. I asked Zack for a tea, did some push ups, and even did a that thing. But I'm restless tonight. Ugh, I'm so frustrated. I mean, what was Roderick thinking? Why would it be a good idea to set up a sparring match with a freaking knight? You're ready. Have some faith in your skill. It's easy for him to say. He could probably beat every single one of those soldiers with a hand tied behind his back. But me? Excuse me, I'm no warrior yet. I just started my training with him three weeks ago, and the knights have been training their whole life. To make things worse, the king will be there. Apparently he was thrilled to know that I've been doing some steady, pro some steady progress in my sword training. And he wanted to be a witness. Deep breaths, Eli. Deep breaths. I need to calm myself down. I need to calm myself down and just think calmly. I mean, how bad can it be? It'll just be like a normal training. One buffer and bigger guy will beat the shit out of me with a stick. The thing that I'm not used to by now. It should be simple. In fact, it should be easier. I I'm sure no one can hit as hard as Roderick. Let's be honest, though. That is not the reason why I'm this nervous. I'm nervous because this is the first time I'll be fighting for real, even if the swords aren't real. Yet. What if I freeze? 
What if I don't manage to do a thing? What if I get completely humiliated? I knew something like this would happen, but I didn't want it to happen so quickly. I tried to calm down once more, entertaining my head with other thoughts. Some people count sheep as they fall asleep, but me? I go for a more practical approach. I, I decided to replay simulations of tomorrow tomorrow's events in my head. That did the trick, as I eventually fell, fell like a rock. Yeah, I like the way his sword is held. <laughs> Next morning came sooner than expected. When I woke, I felt as if I had a bull, if a bull had run me over at that at night. My muscles felt a little sore, and my eyes were about to fall off. Luckily for me, Zack had prepared a nice and warm bath. I stayed in it for like an hour, just enjoying myself. Then, as we were having breakfast, both the Callus and Almond agreed to let me use the rest of the morning to get some last-minute practice with the sword. So I've been doing that for the last two hours. Following Roger's instructions, I've been reviewing some basic stuff. Imagining myself in the real battle, ready to strike some head down. It's silly, but it works. And it's very simple, to be honest. I just need to imagine myself in a different situation, in different situations, such as... Look out! The enemy is throwing a horizontal attack! Uh, how should I block him? Horizontal, okay. Yes, exactly. The way his sword will properly impact with mine, and won't lose grip. Besides, there will be no opening for him to continue uh, continue attacking. I'll for it'll, it'll force him to back down at least for a few seconds. This is the basic of the basic. I, I must know it by heart. Now that I think about it, it was the first thing Roderick taught me. The second thing he taught me was to follow him up a uh, successful block. Now, the follow-up action depends on how aggressive my enemy's behaving. There are four possibilities in most cases. If the enemy retaliates quickly after the first block, then the best thing to do is to block again. And that will only apply if his swing is within blocking range. If he's swinging too low or too high, then it's better to dodge. That should give me some space for breathing. The third possibility is to attack, but this comes with a high risk as the enemy can block or parry me. So the safest bet would be to retaliate only if my enemy stumbles or falters. Lastly, we have the parry, or a very powerful technique that even has a high that has even a higher risk. Parry is the best way to disarm an enemy and leave them vulnerable. It's quite useful if you don't want to go in for a kill. The bad thing is, it's not an easy move to pull off, and if you do it wrong, well, better not to do it wrong. Parry will be very useful in case your enemy has been blocked multiple times and they're losing grip on their weapon. If that happens, you must quickly hit the back of their sword with a swift circular, circular motion to make them drop it. Man, this is just the basic stuff. I dropped the sword for a few seconds, catching my breath. I've been training under the sun all day. I need to make sure not to overheat myself. I remained there for a few more seconds, just listening to the wind. Man, this is sure is a nice day. I set myself. I say to myself, allowing my thoughts to, f to fly away as far as possible. I try to imagine myself sitting under my favorite tree at my old house. I swear I could hear the chickens and even the horse. But the memory is short-lived as I open my eyes and go back to reality. Okay, back to training it is. Every second wasted is a second too many. I take my sword and touch the surface of my training dummy, also known as the tree. I can notice the bruises that I've left on this big fellow over the days. Just say stop if I'm hurting you too much, okay? Yeah, I know you're a tough guy, but I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> I'm so silly. Anyway. Here I go. Oh, wait. It's coming from the right! Black. Oh, wait one second. Block vertically. Yes, perfect, this is good. But he retaliated quickly. The second blow is coming from the top. Uh... Nope, nope, nope. No, I'm messing it up. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I'm doing good so far, but I can't let my guard down. Especially now that he's going for my legs. Dodge. Yes, this is good. Now that I've dodged his attack, the enemy doesn't know what to do. He's doubting. This is my chance to parry. No, okay. No, no, no. Attack. Yes, perfect. I'm keeping him on his toes and he's falling back. If I keep this up, I'll tire him up sooner or later. It's a perfect chance to parry. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That was perfect. I pat myself on the back a few times, feeling accomplished with this little training of mine. If I fight like this, I shouldn't have any trouble keeping up with him. I really hope I don't forget all this, though. My pride depends on it. Take some deep breaths and rest the sword against the tree. My heart is beating so fast it could probably j pretty much jump off my chest at this rate. I got more excited than normal. Can't help but wonder if the same is going to happen on the real match. I should try to calm down and take a break. So I decided to close my eyes and focus on my breathing. 
was a good workout, and I feel satisfied with myself. Maybe things will be fine after all. I can only hope. Eli? Oh, crap, that scared me. I was so relaxed I didn't even notice him approaching. Yes? Oh. As I opened my eyes, I met by the side of a callus. I greet him with a smile, and he offers me one of his own. You do that very often, you know. What thing? You know what I mean. If you have that much free time, then maybe you should read a book or two. The wolf smirks as he teases me a little. In turn, I hit his shoulder softly. What are you doing here anyway? I thought you would be buried in your work in work today. Well, as a matter of fact, I am. But I wanted to see how your training was going. Is that such a bad thing? No, n n not at all. Uh, that's not what I... He smirks once more and tilts his head, letting me know that he was just teasing me again. And to think that three weeks ago, this guy wouldn't even crack a joke. Maybe he's spending too much time with me. I'm not complaining, though. He's more relaxed and open. Not so serious all the time. And he actually enjoys talking with me now. Or, I hope he does. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I didn't know you would make it back for my watch. I thought you were busy. As I said, I am busy. But the king insisted that I was present to your match. In case anyone gets hurt. Oh, I see. He'll be there to patch me up when I get a broken bone. Or worse. Oh, bad thoughts away. Nothing will happen. I'll be fine. I slapped myself really hard on both cheeks for good measure, beating and making a callous jump in the process. Why would you do that? Uh, moral support! The wolf sighs deeply, looking back at me as if I had gone crazy. But to be fair, I do this quite often. It's a habit I picked up from my mom. You're dumb as bricks. Hopefully your head is as thick as one. I can't help but chuckle as he says that. The wolf, on the other hand, just sighs, but eventually he chuckles himself. And how've things been? Anything interesting happening at the library? The male sighs and shakes his head, weak, weakly in denial. As per usual, he seems uninterested, but even if he tries to hide it, he enjoys venting about his job. It's been okay. A little slow more than anything. But I like it slow. Give me, gives me more time to reflect on things. Well, that's good to... Although, there's been this little issue that's been bothering me a lot. Some books and old, old documents have gone missing. Yesterday, one of my old botany textbooks just vanished, and it happened to say the same happened the same to some royal documents five days ago. What do you think it means? Wolf places his hand on his chin and looks up, probably trying to find the correct words. All the missing objects seem to be unrelated. Two science books, one of the world's encyclopedias, and a few old taxes documents. I've expressed my concerns to the king, and he asked me to look into it, but I'm not sure what I'm even supposed to look for. A callous exchange. Exha callous exhales harshly as he rubs his forehead. Rubs his forehead. And he turns his gaze back to me, and I offer him a reassuring smile. I know you find the culprit, man. It's just a matter of time. You're like hell smart for your age. He offers me a tired smile and nods, looking away in the distance afterwards. Thank you. Shall we sit? I'm rather tired. I nod to that, and I sit under my training buddy leaving a spot for him to sit beside me. The shade of the tree feels comforting, so we both remain in silence as we enjoy the peace and quiet. I look up and close my eyes, listening to the sound of the birds and the wolf's rhythmic breathing. Our shoulders touch, and I must admit that feeling of the feeling of his fur brushing against mine is quite nice. I wonder if he uses some sort of product to make his fur so fluffy. His and Roderick's are the nicest ones I've, felt, I've ever felt. Although, to be honest, I don't see the black wolf using bathing products, unlike a callus who is always so clean and tidy. Now that I think about it, I've never seen his fur dirty or unkempt even once. I wonder how many hours he takes to, he takes to tidy himself up. <clears throat> the comforting silence is soon broken by a callus who is handing me some sort of... Candy? I bought some before I left the city. It's quite the delicacy. Do you want some? I take a look at the candy. It seems to be some sort of milky product but on a stick and hardened by fire. But then I, I give, them, give it a whiff. The smell is quite sweet, but acid, but acrid, but acid, acrid at the same time, like a lemon frosted with sugar. At first, I don't, at first, I don't think much of it, but then it seems to hit the right spot on my nose. The scent turns into a musical parade playing inside my snout. Is it really okay? It looks expensive. So that means you don't want it? Fine, I'll eat it myself then. No, wait, I'll eat it. Really? Because gimme! I push forward and take a big bite out of the candy while he's still holding it. The sweet, the sweet immediately melts into my mouth, making me want to suck on it even more. The texture is sublime, really soft and puffy as if I'm eating a cloud. Cotton candy? And the taste. By the goddesses, it's indescribable. I've never tasted something so sweet, yet there's an acidic core that gives it a nice contrast. Are you quite done? While I'm sucking on the stick, I look up. 
Callus' cheeks have gone fully red and his facial expression is unreadable. Oh, dang, is he mad? Did I eat too much? As our eyes meet, there's an awkward silence that, that drags on for a few seconds. He snaps out of it and pushes me back, forcing me to take the whole candy with me. You foolish buffoon! Why did you do such a thing? Sorry, man, I didn't mean to take it all. I'll, I'll buy you one, I swear. Oh, dang it, this is so embarrassing. What was I thinking? I was so distracted by the sweetness of the candy that I didn't stop to think about what I was doing. I acted like a dumb puppy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Callus covers his face with his hand and looks away. His cheeks are still a little red, but so are mine. He continues to say nothing, which only makes me feel even worse. <sighs> Please say something. It doesn't matter. I had some before leaving the city. But just don't do stuff like that in public. Jeez. I don't manage to hear that last part properly, as his whisper is barely audible. I'll leave you be for now. He cleans himself up as he stands up from the spot he where he was sitting. I still feel bad for what I did, but to be honest, I'm not sure what to say in this situation. You better save up for that candy. It's called La Prom. You have to promise to go there yourself, understood? The wolf, the wolf is currently facing the other way, so I can't see his face properly. He's probably really pissed if he doesn't want me to look at it, look at me, isn't he? So, not wanting to keep him for any longer, I nod. I remember he's not watching me, so I say, Yes, of course, I'll take you there myself. We'll eat it together that time, I promise. Don't say stuff like that, you idiot. I can't hear what he says, but it doesn't matter, because the wolf leaves as soon as he said that, giving me a final nod as he walks away in the distance. Is he really okay? He's really cute as what he is. It's past noon when I'm summoned by Roderick into the Great Hall. Oh, hello, Mouse Knight. Is he a mouse? No. Muzzle's too broad. My hands are a little sweaty, but I'm trying to keep it together as best I can. Roderick trained me for trained me for this. It was bona it was bound to happen sooner or later. Besides, it's just a stick. Come on, Eli, you can do it. Captain, this place is stunning. I can't believe I'm here. My ears perk up as I hear an unknown yet some, somehow familiar voice in the distance. I try to pay close attention to the man standing close to Roderick, but as, I, as hard as I try, I can't picture where I've seen him. The guy is the first one who notices me, giving me a warm smile. Not that I try to return, but it probably came off as some weird grin. When Roderick sees me, he nods in approval and signals me to come closer. R I mean, Sir Eli, I'm glad you could join us. Almost, I almost let out a chuckle as I see him acting formal around me. Yep, this is one of those rare occasions in which Roderick is forced to treat me nicely. He's just doing it nice not to insult the knight in front of... He's just doing this to not insult the king in front of a stranger. I'm the king's retainer, after all. It would be rude if the knight called me names. I wouldn't worry about him though much, though. His jerkish personality is due to come, to come back once this is all over. Allow me to introduce you to Sir Edward Laurent, son of a good friend of mine and a third-class royal knight. Sir Edward, this is Sir Eli Biscotti, the king's most recent acquisition. Weird-looking dog looked proudly, really proud of himself as Roderick announced all his titles. He then offers me his hand for a handshake. I obviously take it, giving him a tight squeeze. It is my pleasure to finally meet the, sa the famous Sir Eli. All right, I'm gonna pause it right here, guys. Ah, damn it! There you go. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can. It always helps. Looks like the next episode we're gonna get to, to get that duel, or that yeah, I'd say it's a duel. I get that duel with uh, Sir Roderick. It's gonna be good. Oh, I wonder who's gonna win. It's probably gonna be Roger. He's probably gonna bust Eli, bust the fuck out of Eli. <laughs> Maybe that training will come in handy. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.